Dear students, now we are going to discuss wave impedance of circular waveguide. Let's start with the definition. In general, the wave impedance is defined as the ratio of the electric field to the magnetic field in the waveguide. It is given as Z is equal to E by H. Okay. Next, we are going to derive the wave impedance for transverse electric waves. We have already derived the field components for this transverse electric waves in the previous lecture video. In that, we have obtained the relation between this electric field and magnetic field component. So, here we are going to use that relation. The wave impedance for this transverse electric wave is given as E by H that is also equal to omega mu by beta. Consider this as the first equation. So, in this beta is nothing but the phase shift constant that value is square root of omega square mu epsilon minus h square. So, we are going to substitute this value in this first equation. Then we can get z e is equal to omega mu by here the beta is replaced with the value square root of omega square mu epsilon minus h square. At cutoff frequency we can get the value h square is equal to omega c square mu epsilon. We can substitute this value in this expression. Then we are going to take this omega square mu epsilon from the square root as the common value. Okay. So here we can get omega mu on the numerator and here it is omega square root of mu epsilon. The whole square root of 1 minus here we can get omega c square mu epsilon divided by omega square mu epsilon. Since we have taken this value as a common one from the square root. So here mu epsilon mu epsilon both can be divided. Then we can get the wave impedance is a TE is equal to square root of mu by epsilon divided by square root of 1 minus Fc by F the whole square. So here the square root of mu by epsilon is nothing but the intrinsic impedance. It is denoted as eta. So here we can get the wave impedance for TE waves as eta by square root of 1 minus Fc by F the whole square. This is very very important formula. Using this formula we can solve some problems. Okay. And one more thing here. So eta is equal to square root of mu by epsilon can be written like this. Mu naught mu r by epsilon naught epsilon r. For air filled material here this mu or epsilon r both are equal to 1. So in case of air filled material we can say for air kind of material eta is equal to only mu naught by epsilon naught that is equal to 120 pi or 377 ohm. Okay, this is the characteristics impedance or intrinsic impedance in case of air. Do you all understand this concept? Similarly, we can derive the wave impedance for TM waves. For transverse magnetic waves, the relation between electric field and magnetic field is given as beta by omega epsilon. So here we can substitute the phase shift constant in the numerator. Here h squared is nothing but omega c squared mu epsilon. Then we can take this omega squared mu epsilon outside of the square bracket. Then it becomes omega square root of mu epsilon square root of 1 minus omega c by omega the whole square. Here omega omega divided. Then this epsilon can be written like this square root of epsilon into square root of epsilon. Then this can be divided. We can write this as Z TM is equal to square root of mu by epsilon into square root of 1 minus Fc by F the whole square. So this is nothing but the intrinsic impedance eta. So this is the wave impedance formula for transverse magnetic waves. Okay. So next we can compare the wave impedance values for this TE waves and TEM waves with respect to frequency. So here Whenever the frequency increases, the wave impedance for TE waves is getting reduced. For TEM waves, it's getting increased. Okay, because of this values. Do you all understand this diagram? It is very important one.